All right, guys, it's Ozzy Grimm with the Gamers Grimm. We are back in Starfield today, here on the moon of Kurtz to debut probably one of my favorite ship builds, the Carrion Hunter. I really wanted to make a ult the, the ultimate bounty hunting ship and uh, kind of put my own little spin on it. I wanted the cockpit to be hidden with lots and lots of missile batteries and it all sort of uh, just hidden under a single silhouette with uh, very little showing, almost like a, a stealth bomber that would sneak up on its prey. It's, uh, it was a really fun build and it, it, it went through multiple iterations, but what I think I ended up with, I just, I really like it. It just looks good. Um, and as always, remember guys to like, subscribe, share, and comment down below. It really helps the channel. Uh, and we enjoy just making ships and sharing them with you guys over here. So keep up what you're doing. So back to the ship. It is a class C ship. Of course, I do love my class C ships. I will be doing a series on class A ships, I promise, and some more class B ships, but I really just like making these mega builds with massive amounts of cargo, lots of weapons, and lots of habs. But like any class C ship, what really counts is not necessarily what's on the outside, but what's on the inside, and the Carrion Hunter is truly a bounty hunter ship if there ever right, was one. We, we will, it is a semi ladderless build. We have only the one ladder here that goes up into the cockpit, but for the rest of the ship, it is all on one level. Uh, forward of where we come in, we have a computer bank, uh, which is a two by one hab with the docker so that we can boost our uh, crew count. But we also have a massive hab here and uh, it connects to all the other things. Of course, it wouldn't be a bounty hunter ship if there wasn't a brig here for you to keep your prisoners. And adjacent to that, of course, is a laboratory. I probably should have made this the armory, but we do have an armory on the ship. You can change these out however you see fit. But we will go uh, port side to the rear, uh, which will take us into... Uh, another computer banks or another two by one whatever you want to make it it's habs on habs on habs we love our habs over here at the gamers grim and uh wouldn't be a mega build without all the different habs that you could ever dream of here of course is the armory i uh, looking back i probably should have attached the armory to the brig that would have been a really cool sort of thing you come in and this is where all the weapons are and where you can store your stuff but eh. Hindsight is 2021, 2020. So, and then we will come over here and we got ourselves a living quarters, of course, for all your creature comforts and time to hang out. And forward of that, we have a workshop. So we have all the haves you could ever want and you can tailor them to suit your needs and your comforts. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna head up to this really cool cockpit design, which you'll see here in a second is it's completely self-contained underneath all of the cowling but without really obstructing your view at all and you get a beautiful view of your missile batteries so that when you fire your missiles you get to watch them go and obliterate your foes so we will hop in the pilot seat we are going to take off and we will take a look at the carrion hunter in flight Ship's good. Every time I build a new ship, I think, that's it. This is going to be my new home. I moved from the Imperator to the Siege Breaker, and now I want to live in the Carrion Hunter. I love this just low profile, this silhouette of being underneath the cowling, and you can see your missiles out in front of you. It's so fun to watch these missiles just go off over and over and over again. Oh, it's such a fun, fun time. I do have uh, two particle turrets that are on for just 
taking down their shield while you're locking onto them with these missiles. Such a good time. Such a good time. Let's go find, let's find the star. We'll uh, go into the camera so you can take at the take a look at the Carrion Hunter in flight. Just a just a cool looking ship. I I hate to toot my own horn, but man, this turned out so much better than I thought it would. It just looks cool. Just being underneath that cowling and looking out as the missiles go off is just so much fun. It really, really is. And I hope you guys like the Carrion Hunter too. I, I this is one of my favorite ship builds that ended up looking the way that it did. Everything is so well contained uh, within the cowling. It's like a single just solid piece of uh, equipment just looks good this is what i think a bounty hunter's ship would look like just seeing this like decloak behind you would just make you want to crap your pants but that is the carrion hunter guys i will uh switch over to the uh build menu and we'll go over some of the pieces on the carrion hunter it's really not that difficult of a build it's a pretty easy layout. It's And again, all of my builds are vanilla. You don't need to do any sort of... Uh, you don't need any mods or sort of special things uh, to make my builds work. So we will be right back in the ship builder, guys. All right, guys. We're back here in the ship building menu. And I have the carrion hunter pulled up here so we can take a look at uh, some of the parts. So starting off, we will start with the weapon systems. They're pretty simple. I've got a couple of Vanguard Tempest CE-13 missile launchers. They are really just there for the sake of having a crap ton of missiles. I don't even need them fully powered up. But they're there because we want to shoot a crap ton of missiles at the bad guys. And then, of course, with our ship parts all leveled up, we're going to have these uh, two... Uh, I don't know how to say that. 50k missile launchers from Shinigami. They are classy and they do a lot of damage. And they're going to be right up under that cowling. And then I have, of course, two PBO 300 auto alpha turrets. The standard go-to turret. It just They're just useful. So, with the weapons out of the way, you can see we've got a lot of Stroud cowling on here. Um... We don't need to count it up, but we've got a lot. We got the three by the three, the lengths of three ones. My oh boy, I'm just really having at it today. The Stroud Cowling three LASTs, along with the caps, all along the uh, top and bottom uh, of the ship. Of course, we have these up here, along with some of the smaller cowling that you have there. And then, of course, we have some Nova Galactic here uh, surrounding these on this part here. And we'll go through bit by bit and delete them so that you can see the general layout of this ship. And you can decorate it sort of how you want to. And, uh, of course, we have a, a nose cap here to go over the top of our cockpit. And this... Here, these Hope Tech risers, they are how we're able to kind of tuck this really big and uh, meaty cockpit underneath all this without using one of the smaller ones. Very useful in builds like this. Uh, and then we'll delete uh, this Demos cowling on the back and a couple of Hope Tech risers. You could put probably just about any filler you want back here if you want. And uh, we have a couple of Tayo braking engines right here. And in the front, we have some Stroud nose caps and some uh, Tayo braking engines as well. And a, a Tayo for bottom. But outside of that, that is really all there is to the de decorative pieces. Um, this right here is the layout of your ship. And it's a big, big ship, uh, almost uh, max width. So uh, instead of making a long ship, I made a wide ship. And uh, this is the layout. So we will, uh, of course, we have, some, we have our 50, 500 T helium-3 tanks. 
right on top of the cockpit, as well as our bulwark shield sitting right on top of our MG340 Grav Drive, which is right in front of our Fusor DC-403 reactor. And then, of course, any class sea ship this size needs SAL-6830 engines because they are amazing. And there are always six of those just because they're so useful. And uh, the gear is pretty simple. We have two pinpoint 4G landing gears uh, along the sides here. Uh, and a lot of the uh, gear is frivolous. You don't need all this many gears. Uh, I guess I did delete the one. Probably didn't need this one. Could have deleted it. But I left it on here because I don't have much of a brain. But we also have, uh, I believe, six of these Acculanders here from a Stroud Eklund. And then, of course, a 120 LD landing bay and a 100 DP slim docker. But uh, here we used a little bit of the Nova Cowling. That helps out in uh, this part of the build. Didn't mention that. But you could probably put anything else you want there as filler. But here you go. This is the, the actual layout of your Habs. You can have that Demos cargo hull 3x3. Three three. You could alternately do a 2x3 and put a 3x1 here if you wanted to. I just sort of like uh, less doors if I can help it. And that, of course, uh, connects to the Demos brig, which is connected to a science lab. And the control station is also connected. But in all actuality, I wouldn't care where the door was here. This is just the layout you need to get this ship going. And, of course, we put right here on top the Contiki B600 bridge from Stroud Eklund. I like this bridge on the interior. But, man, for of all the bridges, this one is the hardest to build with. It is just a little, a little unforgiving. I'd imagine if you did some snapping magic or had a mod, it wouldn't be as bad. But as far as vanilla builds go, I would have to say that this is probably one of the most unforgiving uh, cockpits, cockpits in the game that you can use. So, but in this build, it worked out really well. I got, I'm glad I got to use it. It gives you a nice view out of the uh, port of your uh, bounty hunting ship. And then, of course, under here we have... T10 cargo haulers, uh, three of them, and then we have uh, one, two, three, four of the 20T hauler cargo holds uh, to fill that out. And I think you could probably add another one, uh, maybe even two, to get this up to about 7,200 cargo. Uh, I, I just didn't feel like I wanted to put 7,000 cargo on this. Uh, I liked the way it looked with the uh, symmetry in this way. But if you don't care about symmetry under here, you could easily add some more cargo if you wanted to. But yeah, guys, that is the Carrion Hunter. A really super fun ship to build. Uh, I, I really like it. I, every, but I think I do that with all the ships. I just I want to make every new ship that I make my home ship. And just enjoy flying around in them. But this was a this was an interesting build, and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it too. So uh, thanks for coming along. This has been Aussie Grim with the Gamers Grim. 